In this tutorial, we will be looking at installing and using Miro Internet TV. The first step is to launch the Ubuntu Software Center and search for Miro. Then next to Miro Internet TV, click install and enter your password to authenticate the step. Once it is finished downloading and installing, close the Ubuntu Software Center. Now that it's installed, we can launch Miro from the Applications menu. The first time you launch Miro, you'll have to choose if you want to start it at login. I don't really want to start it at login, so I'm going to choose no. When you've made a decision, click Next. Then I'll ask you if you want to import your music and videos from your computer. I'm not going to use it as my primary music and video manager, so I'm going to have to choose No and click Finish to launch Miro. When you first launch Miro, you're going to be greeted with a sort of HTML-like interface. This is how Miro directs you through its catalog. You subscribe to video feeds, which are added to your video feeds sidebar. So let's click on one of the video feeds in the sidebar. It's just a list of videos that are in a series. Let's click back to the Miro guide and we'll add one of the videos to our collection. So I'll choose one of the most popular. So click most popular. And I'm going to choose, I think, GIMP Know How. GIMP Know How is just a bunch of GIMP tutorials covering all sorts of photography related stuff. What you want to do is click Add Feed. This will add it to the video feeds sidebar. Then you can download the videos and then watch them. Okay, so let's take a look at adding my video feed. So you can watch my videos in Miro. You can't find it very easily from the Miro guide, so let's launch a web browser from the Applications menu. Then head to Ubuntu Video Tutorials .tv. You'll find a big video player on the web page. You can just click pause or ignore it and scroll down to the bottom of the player. Then look for the words Miro. Alright, then minimize the web browser and head back to Miro and go to the sidebar or drop down and then click add feed. Let's go back to the web browser now. And then copy the text right here. Something like Ubuntu Video Tutorials .lip TV RSS. Something like that. Then copy that into the text box and click Create Feed. Then create a feed. Click on to my feed and I'll see that it's already started downloading the first video in the list, which is something about Super Tux. That's really all you need to know. Uh, please make sure you head back to my blog uh, at ubuntuvideotutorials.org to make sure you get all the information associated with each video and you're not left out of the dark on special uh, links and any commands that you might not find in the videos.